Hello, I'm Matthew Weber and I'm here to talk with you today about multitasking and how it affects our brains. Many of us struggle on a day-to-day -day basis with multiple activities being thrown at us simultaneously. Research suggests that this struggle is well merited and may actually be doing harm to our brains in doing so. In the next few minutes, we will define multitasking and address why it is so common in today's society, as well as look at the effects it has on the brain physically and why or why not we should encourage multitasking in the classroom. To start with, let's define multitasking. Simply put, multitasking is the act of carrying out more than one duty by an individual at any given point. So technically, listening to music, mopping the floor, and going through next week's bills in your head is multitasking. This is a form of subconscious multitasking, as some of these activities require much less attention from the brain, and it can almost go into autopilot. Pardon the technical terminology. As adults, we may find ourselves watching television while responding to an email on the computer as text messages from family or friends come pouring in on our cell phones. This type of multitasking requires more divided attention and is considered to be conscious multitasking as multiple conversations are being held, which requires the brain to comprehend what is happening between multiple people and keep track of what's happening on the television. As technology has improved, our need to be engaged in multiple forms of electronic activity has also increased. Human productivity is at an all-time high, meaning that more and more is expected of us all the time. So how does multitasking actually affect the brain? Whenever you are focusing on something, a task, a lecture, driving, or etc., an area towards the front of the brain called the prefrontal cortex jumps into action. This area covers both the left and the right sides of the brain and is part of the brain's motivational system. Its primary jobs are to help you focus on the goals in question and help coordinate messages with other brain systems to carry out the task. When the prefrontal cortex is focused on one task, the left and right sides of the brain work together to accomplish the task, according to scientists at INSERM in Barris. When the brain is given two separate tasks, the prefrontal cortex is no longer able to coordinate the two sides of the brain, and the sides begin to work independently. At this point, performance declines. One particular University of London study found that participants who multitasked during cognitive tasks experienced IQ score declines that were similar to what they would expect if they had just smoked marijuana or stayed up all night, some scores dropping as much as 15 points. Why then does adding tasks seem to make multitasking more difficult in some instances, yet I seem to have no problem mopping the floor, listening to music, and figuring next week's bills in my head? It all has to do with prefrontal cortex engagement. The more natural the activity, the less engaged the prefrontal cortex is. Thus, in a sense, pressed practice makes perfect. So, mopping the floor? It's an old task, already learned, and doesn't require focus or mental strain, nor does listening to music. Mentally figuring bills is a little more taxing and requires more prefrontal cortex engagement. As we age, though, our prefrontal cortexes become less able to manage the different tasks. In the earlier example of watching television while responding to email and text messages, the brain switches between tasks, allowing brief moments of focus on individual tasks, though it is an incomplete focus. As we age, this task switching becomes more difficult, and our ability to multitask diminishes even more. This is why older people will at times have difficulty remembering where they were in a conversation or a television show if they are interrupted by a phone call or some other outside stimuli. You'll notice on the slide presentation that I've posted the question of whether or not multitasking should be encouraged in the classroom. I believe the research shows that it is not advisable to encourage our students to multitask on a regular basis. While using technology in the classroom is certainly expected, teachers should be aware of students' use of personal technology devices in the classroom, even if they're school-owned. The research in Higher Education Journal, as referenced by Dr. Mary Ellen Weimer, 
conducted a study of 67 students in an accounting class. Half were allowed to use their mobile devices during the lecture. A test immediately following the lecture revealed that the half without access to their mobile devices scored markedly better than those who were multitasking. When students are using technology as part of class, students must remain focused, avoiding distractions such as social media, messaging, or other web surfing. Some may argue that allowing students to multitask will help prepare them for the expectations of the real world and the job market. However, some studies suggest that long-term multitasking can create a permanent slowing in long-term memory, long-term ability of the prefrontal cortex to process and coordinate between the sides of the brain. So, in summary, multitasking, while prevalent in the workplace and personal lives of most adults, does not actually make us more productive. Rather than getting two things done at once, often it takes longer to accomplish the tasks when multitasking than it would have otherwise. The brain is unable to focus as clearly on tasks, resulting in inferior results, and, generally speaking, is counterproductive. Multitasking forces the brain to work in a way that is outside of its normal operating capacity, and can even result in long-term damage. Educators must be aware of their students when using technology and encourage them to focus on assignments and tasks when under their care, and should avoid assigning tasks that would require large amounts of multitasking. Thank you for your time. Have a great rest of the week.